All right, Marvin, thanks for joining us. A 1 0 win over Wrexham and a goal for you. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm buzzing at the moment. Can't really describe how I feel, but it feels good to get a win, get the three points, and a clean sheet as well. Yeah, precisely. And it was a change in the defence in the starting lineup. Uh, Jamie Turley came in for Josh Coulson. I mean, just to make that switch highlights the strength and depth that we've got in the, uh, particularly the defensive uh, departments at the moment. Yeah, exactly. All the boys are doing well. We've got so many decent, good players that you can swap it whenever it's needed and they'll come in and perform. And uh, it was an outstanding defensive performance that was needed. Uh, Wrexham were obviously a good side. And they, uh, it was a very close game. Uh, you, in particular, you know, had a, a real battle with Ben Tollett, for example. It was a really good effort, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a great effort from me and from all the boys. Like Everyone had to do their job today. Everyone had to be on it in a big game, and everyone was. And you mentioned the big game. It was a real big game atmosphere in the crowd as well, wasn't it? Yeah, the fans were brilliant. They were noisy throughout the whole game. That, that's what you need to keep us going throughout the whole 90 minutes. And was it a case of uh, just being patient and when you get that opportunity, just try and take it? Yeah, exactly. Just keep being patient, keep trying to wear them down. Second half, we came out. I feel like second half, we've done better. we come out come out the traps a bit more and then we broke them down eventually and we got a chance. And what was the message from the gaffer at halftime that uh, caused that second half reaction? Just told us to keep going, just keep doing what we're doing and we'll wear them down eventually, which, and he was right, it happened. And uh, do you want to just talk us through your goal? Uh, I thought the wall just fell to me, I just thought let me just hit it down and see where it goes and went in the back of the net, luckily. And it was great celebrations afterwards, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great celebrations with all the boys, like, we're, all, we're all so close, we're such a good team, so everyone's happy for me. How important is that team spirit to uh, you know, the side's success this season? That's what you need, I think, for a top team to go all the way. Just a good team spirit. Even the players that don't play, when they come on, when they come in, just all stay together and just all keep the good aura throughout the team. And I guess that, was, uh, that strength in, uh, in spirit was really important this week in particular. Obviously, it was a huge away trip to Barrow. You know, you're getting back very, very late. Um, so it, it was a real team effort and a real graph needed. Yeah, it was. That was a great three points going all the way to all the way to Barrow, and coming back again today and getting another three points. So it's good. We've got three. We've got we've won three times now in a week, which is we haven't done all season. So it's good that we've done it now. And uh, it doesn't really stop here. There's another game on Tuesday. Uh, all the shot away. Um, this momentum. It, it, well, this win will provide a lot of momentum going into that fixture, won't it? Yeah, definitely. That's what we need. Now we've got the next 10 games, just just keep our heads down and just try and smash them all through. And just finally, a, a word on the supporters. Uh, over 6,000 and they were fantastic. Yeah, they were fantastic. Just, that's what we need, both home and away. Even the away fans, the fans that travelled up to Barrow kept us going. That's what we need for the rest of the season, for the next, for the next 10 games. Thanks, Marvin. Marvin, that much.